Hello beautiful beings of the world, it's me, your favorite flower in blue, and I'm going to show you all the cool stuff I got from Asheville. I ain't going to even be doing a lot of talking, let's just get into it. I got this cool rain stick from 10,000 Villages. Let's let's do it real quick, let's do it. Look. It's so peaceful, so soothing. <laughs> I went to a bookstore, and of course I had to get a lot of books, even though I literally have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got like 11 books that I need to read, plus the book that I'm currently reading, but we know how it goes, you know? <sighs> Buying books is just like, it's such a good hobby. Like I can buy a million books. I don't give a fuck when I read them, but as long as I have them. Imperfect Courage by Jessica Honiger. Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> Imperfect Courage. It says, live a life of purpose by leaving comfort and going scared. The Seat of the Soul. I feel like um my cousin was reading this at some time. Somebody I know was reading this book and I was like, you know what? I, I actually really want to read this. Uh, it says, the new innovative and thought provoking work by the author of The Dancing Wu Li Masters. Yeah, a remarkable treatment of thought, evolution, and reincarnation. All of these are coming from a place called Joy of Books. That was the name of the bookstore. Search inside yourself, the unexpected path to achieving success, happiness, and world peace. Um, I don't like that it has like the Google theme, which makes me feel like maybe this is like, you know what I mean? But also the Dalai Lama has read this. What? the Dalai Lama I love that nigga and then I had to get something for Bubby because what we love to read I literally we go to the library all the time the world needs more purple people it's so cute and they have like all different kinds of people up here like that is just too cute I am very inclusive when it comes to my son and what I like pour into him so yeah then I went to this place called I think it was like regeneration something innovation something asian something um and i got a few things i got this vinyl it says happy rhythms and rhymes to be completely honest i mean i don't know i don't have a vinyl player so i can't play this right now but i really just like the aesthetic like look it's so cute it's so cute it's so cute and another book the spiritual path this i actually got from like one of those free library things but yeah it says the spiritual path honestly it looked interesting and then it had like pictures of like chakra symbols and stuff on the inside that's really my vibe so i got that then i got this it says relaxation for women quiet moments i'm glad that i finally am getting to um like show this so i can put it in my car and listen to it yeah a lifetime of dreams tenderly one day the miracle of life a kiss at midnight you know i'm excited to see what this is like this artwork i am so sorry i forgot the artist's name so if you if you're this artist or you know this artist yeah but as an artist you know support other people's art this was so beautiful and they had like a few different um they had a few different of these so yeah I got this cool ass like pearl and I don't know what this is like type of necklace but I really loved it because it reminded me of like the type of jewelry that my grandma had at her house like this is the type of jewelry that my grandma was wearing and then it has like this hook to like you know put the I think that's gonna be real cute when I dress it up or dress it down just because fashion is you know it's subjective and then oh my god like what not me being a real youtuber put my hair out the funky <laughs> i've been waiting my whole life for this moment okay um and then i got a bunch of clothes because what you thought i was going anywhere without thrifting go on now go on now you know better than that i got this basic t-shirt we love a basic t-shirt you know what i mean it's basic 
I can wear it with like these overalls I have on right now or some jeans. I'm a teacher, you know, some days I don't want to look like Miss Frizzle. Some days I want to look like Joanne. So yeah, then bro, I have a nap problem right now. I know you see him. Don't go to bed, be cold. Um, then I got this button up. Let's see. It's, um, there we go. I got this buff button up. It's like green and it has, it has pink flowers, green flowers, and like little butterflies on it. Pink and green, they complement each other actually very well. Green is my favorite color. I actually don't like pink, but I have a lot of pink things. Make that make sense to me. You can. I have this little top. I got it because it has flowers on it, of course. I am a flower fanatic, a flower fiend, and it has like this real just like baby doll look to it. It looks like something that I would have worn maybe in like middle school or something because a bitch being swaggy. Okay, style ain't never declined. <laughs> it might have. Something about this is really nostalgic, so I got this one. And then I got this like two-piece set type of deal where it's this dress it's very like old timey for sure um i want to say if i had to guess an era maybe like 80s 90s maybe and then it has this um like little overcoat with it but it has like these buttons in the back and it's a short sleeve so i think that's cool that way like you know you can really either layer this with like something under it for fall since that's coming up or it's still like okay to wear in the summertime so that's dope i got this now i am a fanatic for getting like this like silk um nightgownish material but they're wearing them as regular dresses and of course it has flowers on it y'all know the vibe you know the vibe it has flowers on it they are pink and yellow and it's black and like i said the fabric is just really really nice so boom then I have these pants. These, um, they're like a dark khaki, um, like ashy gray mixture of pants. They are not boot cut, but they are kind of wide legged at the bottom. I feel like this would be a good like Y2K aesthetic. Um, I've been into that sometimes, so I really like these and I thought that would be good for that. I have another pair of like dark khaki pants, similar vibe. These are definitely like on the Y2K low rise type deal. They got the drawstring, they're Columbia. So they look like, you know, just like some real hippie um, cargo hiking pants. They got all the pockets over. They have like the drawstring on the legs so you can like ruch the bottom of the pants, which I think is really dope. And I got this um, like denim studded belt and you know like this is just really screaming Y2K in like 90s even though I could like make this grunge with like all black or red and stuff like that or I could pair it with like something like this or those other pants and then have like you know a nice little some some going on at the top so I really enjoy that I got this it's really basic. Um, the grandma aesthetic, that's me all day. What? You tell me I can dress like your grandma? Sure. Come on, baby. I can dress like your grandma. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I really like this. It's tan, neutral, something that can go with anything, some pants, a skirt, whatever. I got this green um, short sleeve top. And honestly, it looks very, very plain. It kind of gives you like that athletic look, but like also where you can wear it with high waist jeans and stuff like that. But I really liked this detail right here. This is what really sold me. That is why I picked this up because of that little detail right there. Um, I got this Shesha Cat shirt. Don't it look like this Shesha Cat? And I feel like this would go super cute with one of those pairs of pants just as like uh you know back in the day it's also giving like scooby-doo i don't know why because there's no one on scooby-doo with this color scheme but i don't know it's just like we should solve a mystery i got this dress now i will say looking at it off rip it might look off-putting right you know you got this like 
burgundy and then this vibrant pink and then at the bottom there's this like lace detailing but like it's just so unique it's so unique and i feel like that is really what sold me on it it's just like the uniqueness of it like you are not going to see many dresses like this this looks like someone made it i mean obviously they did but you know what i mean it just looks oh it's from Dickney jeans period but i don't know it's just like super out there i feel like this would be something really fun to wear to a performance or like if i was going out and just really want to I don't know just like command a room i just i really like it i fuck with it the long way i got a long red maxi skirt you know super basic but i think it will be really cute in fall with like black long sleeve turtlenecks or um even like with crop tops and things like that so yeah i feel like this will also be something it's just a basic it's a staple i've been really into long skirts i really like long skirts i'm not really the midi or uh, mini skirt type of girl long skirts is my thing so and then I got this little like it's a romper um or or is it a bodysuit what classifies something as a romper and what classifies something as a bodysuit I don't know but it is kind of like um what's that like gaucho style so it's wide at the bottom and it doesn't it probably comes to my calf and um it's actually very very see-through so this was something that i would really just want to wear to like performances because it has flowers all over it and it has um a lot of different colors and i feel like places where i perform where there's like really good lighting and things like that this would look really really good there and again it's just like flowers so it matches my aesthetic i think feel like it would be good for uh performances and things it's super stretchy um yeah i really really enjoy this i think it was super super cute and i got this shirt get the fuck out bitch tell me this is not what a brass doll would wear i used to really really want to be jay um you know y2k that's like really popular right now so that this is super super cute and i feel like it just embodies y2k like it's so cute it's so cute and then let me make sure that's everybody. yeah but lastly, and this is why I wanted to save this for last, because this was one of the most, like, mind-blowing things to me. I also bought a motherfucking grinder. I don't know where it is. I didn't even get to you. Let's move on. Let's move on. But last but not least, I got these. They're called flowering teas. And it's exactly what you think. It's exactly what you're thinking. It's a ball. You put it in the tea. And when you put it in the hot water, well, you don't put it in the tea, you put it in the hot water. When you put it in the hot water, bitch, it blooms. And then it has pictures of what they're going to look like when they bloom. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, what? Look at this one. Uh, oh, my God. Like, I'm a flower fanatic. Y'all know this. And I love tea. I'm so ready to use these. Like, oh my gosh. When I do, make sure you follow me on the gram. Because I'm definitely going to post it up there. Definitely going to post it up there. But yeah, that is my Asheville haul. Those are all the cool things I got. I'm super excited. I love all of this stuff. Like, the books, obviously, we're going to get to them. <laughs> because I have hella books that I need to read. But... Yeah, Asheville is such a magical place, as you can see from my previous video. And yeah, if you want me to do like more haul videos, please give this video a like, comment, subscribe, share, and as always, have a wonderful day. Bye!